Now she's busy. She's canopied herself over it, holding it with her front legs. There we go. Another, another information. Wow. She keeps on stabbing this grasshopper. Have a look at that. She's got the perfect web for catching a grasshopper. Grasshopper land, mistimed his jump. She's now grabbed him. Have a look at what, is she holding him with a leg there, Dave, or what she's holding him with? So tough to see, I'm gonna have to get a little bit closer, there. Oh, she's bitten the grasshopper on the leg, so she's actually holding the grasshopper by one of the back legs. How epic is that? And as you can see, that venom that she has, has slowed that grasshopper down very very quickly and that is how keyed spider venom is to this particular type of prey this particular spider does hunt grasshoppers and you can see repeatedly stabbing with her fangs injecting venom has very very quickly incapacitated this grasshopper and now she's holding on to him just so that he can't get away he got her legs all around him and what she's going to wait for is that grasshopper to be completely immobile. He can still hurt her with a powerful kick. She's soft bodied. He's got quite a hard exoskeleton. And then she'll probably wrap him up in some silk to stop those legs flailing about. And she'll let her venom take over. Twofold thing. One, the venom incapacitates that grasshopper. Secondly, it is actually starting the digestive process. So what it'll do is it'll start to liquefy the inside of that grasshopper and when it's completely liquefied she'll then suck out all the juicy juices and that's how she gets her nourishment and I'm very glad for her shame she's in a particularly bare patch of vegetation not many grasshoppers around here in actual fact I can't see any discarded remnants of grasshoppers I don't know when last the spider ate but have a look at that Yes, we couldn't have asked for a better grandstand stand there. 